Okay, so for part two of the grid piano, um, let's see here. All right, so I have everything merged, and here's my grid layer. So for step one, you're going to highlight the background layer. Okay, so if you thought part one was difficult, please make sure you pay attention to part two, because this is the tricky part. So we're going to highlight the background layer and I'm going to get the rectangular marquee tool again and I'm going to select part of like one of these quadrants, one of these rectangles. So let's say I select this one right here, okay? So I'll kind of follow my grid lines. So again, I've selected within the grid lines just this rectangle and my background layer is highlighted. I'm going to duplicate my selection by doing Command J and it automatically as I hide my grid layer and I hide my background layer it just duplicated what I selected. Okay and it's on its own layer. Does that make sense? I guess I went a little beyond. That's all right. So this is on that layer. I'm going to do transform this by doing Command T because we're going to select. So out of 16, maybe we'll pick um, five to seven out of each grid to transform. Okay. So I'm going to hold down on Shift and make this bigger. Press return when you're happy, and then I'll just move the move tool over to kind of center it how I want. Then I'm going to just select within my grid again, like so. And again, I'm still on layer one. Okay, that's highlighted in blue. And then I will go to select inverse. This will select everything outside. And then I'm just going to click delete. And then command D to deselect. So it deleted everything outside of this rectangle. I'll turn back the background on. And so you'll see now this is zoomed in. Does that make sense? I'll do one more. So I will highlight the background layer. I'll pick another quadrant. Maybe I'll pick this one over here. So in using my rectangular marquee tool, I'm going to highlight that. Command J, this creates a new layer. I'm going to hide my background layer. I'll, just, I'll hide the other one too. And then I'll do Command T to transform and hold down on Shift. Maybe I'll make it like that and press Enter. Then I'll use the rectangular marquee tool, select it again, go to Select Inverse, Delete, Command D to deselect, and I'll put everything back on again and now you see that. So about five to seven pick. Obviously I wouldn't pick any of the white ones over here because it wouldn't make a difference. Okay and then maybe I'll do the bird right here. So highlight the background, select within the grid, command J to duplicate, Hide my background and the other layers except my grid. Command J, or I'm sorry, Command T to transform. Hold down on Shift. Make it bigger. Click Return. Use my Move tool. Bring it up. And then select within the quadrant. Select Inverse. Delete. 
and then put everything back on. So now you can kind of see this is kind of blown up some more. And then I've got, so I have one, two, three. Maybe I'll do this one as well. This will be my fourth one. So I said five to seven. So rectangular marquee, highlight the background layer, command J, hide these so you can see it better, command T, hold down on shift and drag a corner using the move tool, bring it down, maybe I'll turn this on so I can see it better. And then I will use the rectangular marquee tool again, select, select inverse, delete, command D to deselect, and here's what it looks like so far. So I've only done one, two, three, four. Maybe I'll do one more. I'll do this bird over here, half of the bird. So highlight the background layer. Command J, hide everything else. Command T, hold down shift to transform then enter when you're happy, and then move tool to center it. Let me turn this back on. So maybe I'll move this down a little. There we go. And then I will select within that rectangle again. Select inverse. Delete, Command D, turn everything back on, and now I'm done. So I'm done with one of the three that you are to complete. So when you're done, just do File, Save as a JPEG. But remember, this grid layer here, you can use it to drag into another picture. Um, you can also change, if you command click on here and you want to fill it with something else, you can do edit, fill, and pick another color. Um, let's say you want to do gray. And then if I do command D, that's what it looks like. So if you wanted to change colors for another picture, that's an easy way to do it. That's it.